Is there meaning to our life? A very deep and intense question. But thank you so much Deepak for asking me this because for the last four days I have been deeply contemplating, wondering about certain aspects of life and observing my life experiences and in my head I've got some convincing answers which I'm going to share with you in this video and I hope it gives all of you some clarity on this topic. So why are we waiting? Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Bold Mage. I'm Priya and I'm really excited to see you here one more time. Yes, if you're visiting my channel for the first time and you're somebody who wants to hear some inspiring ideas, groundbreaking perspectives, some travel vlogs and about business and entrepreneurship, then this channel is meant for you because I express myself completely here. So do subscribe to my channel and I do post videos every single week. Now that being said, let's get inside today's video. See, last week in the comment section, I asked few of our subscribers to suggest some topics for me to make videos on. And the first interesting topic that I received was, do we have meaning in our life? And honestly, till this point in time, I've never sat and thought about this question. But for the last four days, I've been deeply contemplating in this question. The first thing that came into my head is the consequence of life. Why am I here in the first place? Because I was born. So birth is the consequence of my life. And someday we all know that I will die, disappear. Death is another effect of living this life. So there is a consequence and there is also an end result. In between, I have life. But you take this consequence and the result, both of them are predetermined and they are accidents. What do I mean by that? I never expected to be born, maybe to this family, to this culture, in this phase, with this gene, whatever. Then accidentally, I was into one family and I was born. Okay, that's an event. Like why I call that is an accident is because it's an unexpected event. You're driving on a highway in your car and suddenly someone comes and dash. You can't expect an accident. It's totally unexpected, isn't it? So similarly, I was born. Similarly, I can't expect death and sit and lead my life. It's accidental. Someday it's going to happen. I don't know when, I don't know how, but it's bound to happen. I know the end result. But in between, I look at that my life, I can take some control. I'm living and it's completely my choice. But this is where the biggest question comes. While I'm leading this life and before I disappear, is there really meaning? Is there really, um, you know, does that really matter? This life that I'm leading. And when I started contemplating on this, I had gone to so many different thought processes. In fact, uh, the first observation in life or like for a human being, the number one thing is we got to expand. See, physically, there is an expansion. Mentally, there is an expansion. And worldly affairs, why is that constantly we want to keep goals for us and achieve it? Why uh, someone who's been running for, you know, 21 kilometers marathon later wants to do 46 kilometers, there is a need to expand. Why someone who's making $1 million today wants to grow that business to $1 billion because there is a need to expand. Why is that we want to put a man in the moon or in the Mars and just go beyond and become a multi-planet human being because there is a need to expand. It's more than a need, it's the nature of this life that it needs expansion. So the first thing is, or the meaning that I see while you are in control or while you're living this life, every human being in our own uh, basis, we are trying to expand ourselves. This has to happen. When you stop expanding, there is a block and that's when you feel sad or you are not happy. Now, once you feel sad, you worry, again, you step back, you, you again set a new goal, then you get up, you move. But end of the day, if you look at the process, even a beggar on the road, yesterday, if he had earned 10 rupees, the next day he would expect to earn 20 rupees in his mind because the nature of this life is expansion. Imagine there is a cloud and then a lot of raindrops come out of it. Now, if you look at those raindrops, they will travel until they impact, until they touch the ground. So till then there is a journey. Some dew drops or some raindrops are big, some are small, some are thick, some are thin. Each of it has difference, but at the end of the day, when they come and touch the ground, 
when they have that impact all of them become one so then once the flood comes you cannot identify which raindrop is like this part in the flood it becomes unison so the first thing is while you are in the journey there is a need to expand and number two there is a need to be creative especially being humans we are the highest form of evolved being in this universe we need varieties in everything see today just think what you had for lunch just think about what a, what you ate for the last one week see i was raising a, a dog and every day if we give the pedigree food i have a fish in my house there is this fish food every day six pellets i put there's no variety it doesn't the fish doesn't ask for biryani mutton biryani chicken biryani cake uh, bo won't to i'm just saying like some they just eat for survival but look at we humans even we need we eat, we have to eat for survival but even in that we are so creative we need so many varieties we easily get bored and we want to try new things so because you have this element of consciousness and awareness and you know you, you are very evolved you want to try many things so the second meaning in life comes when you got to be very creative see right now i was looking at my fish tank and i was observing my fish and i thought he's just in the tank you know not even 2 and 1/2 feet and as long as he's going to live he's going to live inside that tank and he's happily swimming um we look at him and we cherish we have given him a name we give him food we play with him we just observe him uh but his life is just that two and a half feet the water that i put and he keeps swimming there until he is going to disappear from that body but imagine if that is the same condition you and me have to be in just in a two and a half feet you have to move here and there that's the biggest punishment for a human being because in our minds we have expanded so much we need variety we can't lock ourselves we can't eat for survival we have surpassed this 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 movement of survival and we want to be more creative see why like i was reading about elon musk um, for um, some sometime last month about his book and i was reading his quotes and he keeps saying i want to put a man in mars i want to you know create a lot of things now imagine i'm just taking elon musk as an example and eventually he will also disappear all of us but while he is living he wants to create there is the zeal for creating a chef creates so much in the food uh, an architect creates so much in the building look at on everything how much of creativity that's been shed into you know our life so number 2 is i feel one of the meanings in our life is we need to be creative we need something to hang on to and i'll tell you how powerful this need to hang on to us all of us know um mahakavi bharatiyar a great south indian poet he was starving his family was starving they were literally poor but he used to sit and write poems now look at uh, for a human being uh, for a man when he can't you know provide for his family he feels like a miserable failure he feels so much of pain but something in him has made him stick on to that poetry he wrote poems he wrote verses and he has sung see today we celebrate bharatiyar but the life he led you even if you have to go back and you want to choose a life for yourself you will not choose that that's so difficult i don't want that because somewhere all of us need an over optimistic life um but in reality now even in such a despair what could have made bharatiya go forward in his life as he had something to hang on to he was he was hanging on to his creativity I'm a great fan of Vincent Van Gogh. This man who's been a great painter all his life lived a very miserable life. He couldn't eat, provide for himself. In fact, he used to drink paints, he went mad and then he disappeared. None of his paintings sold and gave him a fortune when he was alive. But after he is dead, today the world is celebrating. Oh my god, what an artwork. Now, as long as he lived Now if you if I if I if you give me that do you want to become van gogh maybe on my consciousness no i don't want to turn mad i don't want to sit as a person who can't sell any of his artwork uh, any of his painting i don't want to be a failure i don't want to be left out i don't want to be lonely i don't want that life that's my because i'm over optimistic all of us when i say i am all of us indeed we all need ideal life we don't need misery but look at even in that life van gogh 
had something to hang on to he was like painting all through to sculpt one horse da vinci took more than 20 plus years can you imagine can you and me waste 20 years in sculpting one thing we all need immediate results we all need growth we all need you know big mansions to live in beautiful spouses to have excellent smart kids great health we all want over optimism in life we all we all we all have given some idealistic image to life whereas all those people just look at this da vinci example or van gogh example or bharatiya example or i'm just giving few names which all of us can commonly connect your dad my dad my granddad your granddad your distant uncle your mom there are so many stories around us where there is something not fulfilling but then they have been created they had something to hang on to so the second thing or the second meaning i would say is being creative or having something to hang on to while you live otherwise if we don't have anything to hang on to our life might become pointless and number 3 i sincerely feel this and i believe if it has to be if both the uh, two things that i did i, I mean both the uh, creative uh, part as well as you know expansion part didn't convince you i'm 100% sure this meaning of life would obviously convince you and that is um the most important meaning of life is to be useful for another one see i'm living this life and i want the best things for me imagine i think that way i don't know whether i'll get all that but if i can give or cause happiness to somebody else i'm adding meaning to their life i'll just give you a simple analogy i had a dog uh, he is not anymore with us um his name was toby so when he was 40 days old we brought him home my daughter wanted to have a pet it's very cute cute labrador like how you see picture perfect labrador he was so we got him home he was pampered to the core he got best of the best food he got the best everything about him like he was not living a dog life he was actually living a human life he was i mean i started believing he is my son and before um toby came into our life we were also feeding all uh, you know the stray dogs in our area and there's one of the dogs who was like little you know had this connection with me i used to give him biscuits every day uh, i we have made eye contacts not just that wagging the tail but then there are some moments with that stray dog that street dog as well so toby came i'm just comparing two lives so toby's life is actually for a dog over optimistic he lives in a good house he's been constantly pampered he gets gets the best of the best food on time there's no survival problem he gets to sleep sleep in a bed he wants to go uh, for a pee or a walk people are there to take him any medical assistance he gets instantly everything was perfect in toby's life but as a street dog he has to survive so hard he doesn't know tomorrow will he get food sometimes kids throw stones at him sometimes i even say today no just go he had faced so much rejections when rain comes he used to just come near our car parking and hide himself just for some shade during uh, the summer time he doesn't get enough water for his thirst this is his life four years after toby came into life he was not there for his fourth birthday my dog passed away because of jaundice well taken care i didn't know how he got that it's still a big pain in my life and in fact i went into a mode of depression by losing him because i was quite close i developed such a bond with my dog that he was really like my son it was so much of chemistry with us and um, that night when he was about to pass away i still remember it was 1 1:10 in the night he gave me a look into my eyes he had tears in his eyes he was super painful but then he didn't show it because he somehow came to know that those are his last moments and he just you know put his legs on me like this two three times tapped me he was looking into me and then he passed away very uh, sad incident in my life but that moment that memory i still cannot forget see today he's gone was his life meaningful i don't know but he his existence added some meaning to my life i didn't know i could love a pet that much i didn't know that i am that i have so much to give i can't explain this very clearly but you know what his life added meaning to me that was a contribution today that street dog is also not there 6 months before i was like not seeing him around in our area and i asked 
after some time to this guy who col- comes to collect garbage in a house what happened to that dog and he said oh he passed away he was in that ditch and uh, they threw him away oh but even that street dog we have made eye contact have played with him dia has played with him, my daughter and he has added some meaning some value and his contribution the happiness that he has given me i believe sometimes that's the meaning of our life as long as we live as long as we are in this process of taking control somewhere we got to be useful for another human being all the stars sometimes i lie on my terrace and i look at these uh, the sky and i see the stars the stars are shining does the star has any meaning i don't know but because it's shining it has brought some smile in my face and millions of people's face the starry nights are something that has made so many lives romantic the star and its shine has contributed for another human being and i believe somewhere when you give yourself in some form all our mothers they'll never feel that their life is meaningless you know why because they are providers for the family your dad my dad may not be very famous in google but in your mind and my mind they have added so much of meaning only because they have contributed so i think the ultimate meaning while we exist comes when we add meaning to others lives some level of contribution for living this life so in conclusion i feel anyways we are going to die instead of dying out of boredom we can die out of passion instead of dying out of fear we can die out of trying instead of dying out of hate we can die out of love so before we disappear it's the meaning that we give to our lives all of us are insignificant everything is going to become nothing everything is going to become a dark matter like a black hole and the black holes will disappear and nothing is going to exist and maybe new lives will come maybe trillion 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 years later to see that you and me will not exist but as long as we live we need to find some way to add meaning to add purpose to our lives so i hope you liked this video deepak um i know it's a long video if you made it till the end i'm so happy and uh, thank you so much for watching all of you and if you really like the video give me a thumbs up uh, do share your comments and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon in another video until then take good care of yourself bye bye